it's a new year and I realize I haven't had pizza yet. So I decided that I'm gonna make you guys a Chicago style deep dish pizza. I have Mallory with me today. Hi. And she's gonna help me make this pizza. In fact, it was her idea. We're gonna start off with the dough. Mallory's gonna walk you through the ingredient list. Our ingredients are yeast, salt, olive oil, butter, sugar, honey, and lukewarm water. And then over here, we have flour and cornmeal. <laughs> Don't worry, the full list of ingredients and measurements will be in the description below. Mallory is going to start by mixing the water, yeast, sugar, and honey. The water should be lukewarm. Now Mallory is going to add the yeast. And you can go ahead and add the sugar in there. Okay, now Mallory is going to add the honey in here, scraping every last bit of that out. We're going to let this set for 10 minutes so it can act. This is exactly what you're looking for. You can see the foam rising right in the center here. That lets you know that your yeast is alive and active. Now that the yeast is activated, I'm gonna add the oil, salt, butter, and cornmeal. <laughs> now we're gonna mix it all together. Be sure to add your flour in thirds. Take a moment to like and subscribe so you get notified every time a new video is released. So our dough is done now. And you want it so it just starts pulling off the sides of the bowl. It should feel nice, soft, and very pliable. Pour a little olive oil, drop your ball of dough in, Keep moving it around until it coats the whole ball. Now our dough ball is completely coated in oil and we're gonna cover that with a little saran wrap. It stops any film from developing over the top of the dough ball. We're gonna grab a little bit of butter, smush it up, and now we're gonna spread it all around our pan. Get a nice layer all around the sides of the pan as well. There you have it. Look at that! We've let this sit for about an hour and a half, and it's about doubled in size. After flipping it out, I'm gonna flatten it out. You wanna make sure you're pulling the dough all the way up the sides of the pan. We're not making these pizzas for nothing. My dad better get at least 10 subscribers for all this effort. For our sauce, we have two cans of crushed tomatoes, olive oil, basil, sugar, garlic, oregano, salt, and Parmesan cheese. You don't need to mix this into your sauce. You can sprinkle it right on top of your pizza, but we like to make extra sauce for dipping our crust. We have our oil in the pan, and we want to put our garlic in there. We want to turn that on low, so our garlic has been going for only about 30 seconds. And now we're going to put our crushed tomatoes in. You don't want to overcook that garlic, it will turn bitter. We put the tomato in there and it stopped the garlic from cooking. Now we're going to add our salt our sugar, oregano, we're gonna stir that up. You really don't have to cook the sauce, that was mostly for the infusing the garlic into the oil. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this off and we're gonna add our basil and the last thing you wanna add is Parmesan cheese. And the sauce is ready to go. Okay, now we're gonna put our pizza together. I'm gonna to start by brushing some olive oil all around the crust. It's just easier to do this right now and then you're not spreading sauce all up your beautiful crust that you worked so hard on. Now Mallory's gonna put a layer of cheese 
on the crust because that's how you do a Chicago deep dish pizza. While Mallory cheeses that pizza, take a moment to like and subscribe so you get notified every time we release a new video. Yeah, and you think we need more cheese on there? I don't think so. I would put a couple of more cheese. How much cheese you put on your pizza is to your preference. Just like anything you put on top of your pizza is to your preference. Okay, so now we're gonna start putting our toppings on the pizza. And we're gonna start with pepperoni. Bringing it all the way to the edge of the cheese. We have the pepperoni, so now we need the bacon. My mouth is watering already, and it's not even cooked. Now we're gonna put the sauce on the pizza. You wanna lightly push the sauce all around the pizza, making sure you're not disturbing too many of the toppings. So our pizza is completely covered, so now we have to sprinkle Parmesan cheese on top. You want to get a nice coverage of cheese all over the top of your pizza. <laughs> this baby is ready for the oven. Okay, so our pizza is done. It looks delicious. The crust is nice and golden brown. And been in the oven for about 35 minutes. Smells so good. It smells delicious. Yeah. So we're gonna cut it up and give it a taste. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm excited as well. We have some crushed red peppers, some oregano, some Parmesan cheese, a little extra olive oil, which I love, and some freshly cracked pepper. And we have extra sauce on the side for dipping our crust. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this baby cut up. Okay, just about finished. Now we're gonna go ahead and serve up a piece. Which one do you want? Any particular one, Melanie? No. Like and subscribe so you get notified every time a new video is released. Then I'm taking the big piece. That's what you said last Yeah, I don't know. This one looks They're a little bigger. Same. You think that? Okay, so we got some nice browning on the bottom of that. That looks nice. Would you say so? Yeah. This color on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and take a bite. You're gonna cut your pizza? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm a fancy lady. I'm gonna pick mine up and take a bite. It's too hot. Mmm, mmm, delicious. Really? Do you like it? Mm hmm. So really good. Very good. It's so good. <laughs> the crust is nice and flaky, airy at the same time, just the right amount of cheese. Oh, I forgot to put my condiments on. But we had to try it once without anything. I'm gonna put some crushed red pepper. Mallory, do you want some crushed red pepper? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the Parmesan? With a little time and effort, it's pretty easy to make this Chicago classic. Oh, no. Enjoy! <laughs> Go ahead and like and subscribe so you get notified every time a new video gets released.